what it was going to be was an armed revolution. I mean, people died that day. Law enforcement officers died this day. There was a gallows set up in front of the Capitol. This could have been the spark that started a new civil war, and no one would have won there. A Colorado man not mincing words in his testimony this afternoon in front of the House Select Committee investigating January 6th. Jason Van Tatenhoff, who used to be a spokesperson for the Oath Keepers Militia Group, saying former President Trump, quote, had visions of being a paramilitary leader and was using the insurrection as a path toward doing so. Today's hearing also covering claims that the former president and his closest aides discussed seizing voting machines, as well as a tweet the committee claims galvanized extremist groups and inspired an angry mob to converge on the Capitol on January 6th. ABC's Justin Finch is following developments on Capitol Hill. The House Select Committee flashing back to a crucial timeline in its seventh hearing, tracking the activities of Donald Trump and his allies from December 14th, 2020 through January 6th, 2021. That key stretch covering former President Trump's 2020 election defeat and what the committee asserts was his relentless effort to remain in power by any means necessary. President Trump is a 76-year-old man. He is not an impressionable child. Just like everyone else in our country, he is responsible for his own actions and his own choices. Clips from last week's videotaped testimony of Trump's White House counsel, Pat Cipollone, feature prominently in the hearing. Cipollone saying he believed that Trump should have conceded the election after more than 60 court hearings found no proof of election fraud. If your question is that I believe he should concede the election at a point in time. Yes, I did. The committee focusing on a heated meeting on December 18th, which included the former president, lawyers Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell, and retired General Michael Flynn. Cipollone was there too and says he opposed the efforts of the other Trump advisors to seize voting machines in states Trump lost and other efforts they were proposing to overturn the election. I don't think any of these people were providing the president with good advice. The panel also highlighting this tweet posted by Trump on December 19th, 2020, reading, big protest in D.C. on January 6th, be there, will be wild. The committee calling that tweet a call to arms for Trump supporters. He is now calling on we, the people, to take action. This is going to be a red wedding. The committee revealed its uncovered evidence showing far-right groups, the Proud Boys, the Oath Keepers, and the Florida Three Percenters decide to coordinate together on January 6, which those groups normally don't do. The committee also alleging that Trump's call to march to the Capitol on January 6 was not spontaneous, but that it had been discussed among rally organizers days before the Capitol riot. Justin Finch, ABC News, Capitol Hill.